Today we're going to look at ankle stability and give you a much more uh, efficient foot strike when you're out running. So this is to uh, stop you rolling over your ankle, whether it's uh, on the road, pavement, going over some stones, trails, or any kind of unstable surface. Because the last thing you want when you're out running is to twist your ankle. But we also have to look at other common lower leg problems, like say tight calves, tight Achilles, plantar fasciitis. So all of these things are connected to uh, the movement patterns around the foot and ankle joints. So if you think of this as how like the foot is designed to do that, 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 and that. Those are the basic movements, okay? But if one of these movement patterns isn't working quite as efficiently, now that can be for any number of reasons, then that's where all the other muscles, etc., are not working through their full range, and that's where they start to tighten up. That's where we get the problems from. So we need to try and create something where you're getting a, a comfortable move through all of these movement patterns. Now, a really basic exercise I like to do is called the clock, and we're going to look at that now. I always recommend to start with a shorter range of movement when we do this exercise because uh, our balance might not be that great. So keep the range of movement short. Keep driving the knee forward as you reach out towards the uh, 11s and 12s and 1s and 2s etc. And uh, so keep the range short uh, to start with. And as you progress, you start to feel maybe getting a little bit easier, then uh, start to increase the range, stretch the leg out a little bit further. And what you'll start to feel is, as well as improving the stability of your ankle, you'll probably start to feel the core muscles working and building up the strength in the glutes. All good, eh?